All right, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to customize your uh, RetroPie case for um, to 3D print, because um, maybe you don't like the default way that I've set it up, and that's fine. Um, if you want your name on there, or Nintendo, or whatever, or maybe you don't even like my case, you want to do a different one, uh, that's fine too. Um, but I just wanted to go through how to modify some uh, 3D files in Blender, uh, just to customize it for your own needs, if you want to have it be a little different than what I've set up. So, um, first thing you're going to want to do is download the files, of course. So, uh, you can do download this thing and it'll download all the files. Um, right now, I'm currently working with the RetroPie case lid. And I'll show you how to import that into Blender. So, we'll go into Blender here. And this is the default view that will have that'll be set up once you start it up. And it's got a block in the middle, which you don't want. So, all you've got to do is press X. And then you just click on Delete. And it'll go away. So, you've got a fresh... Uh, fresh viewport to work with and so you go into file and then go down to import and then STL because that's the file the type that we're going to be using so we'll locate where it is in my files and it downloads so rich pied case lid so and then you just click import so it'll take a little bit to import and then once it imports you'll see the case right here so this is just the lid, um, but it's in three parts. Um, so right now, um, it's just in the uh, what's called object mode. Um, and so that's just being able to view it in 3D. Um, so what we want to do is put it in edit mode so we can actually edit it. So click on that little part with object mode and then click edit mode. And then it'll change the view so you can see all of the... Uh, here, so I'm just pressing the middle uh, scroller button and clicking it to drag around to view, and then scrolling in to zoom in and scrolling out to zoom out. And so you might have to play around with it to see how it works best for you. Um, so I'm going to left, um, so I'm going to right click on one piece here, the R. And so if you want to remove the text and replace it with your own, uh, you can hold down Control and just right click on every single part of the letters because we need to delete them before we can put new ones in so I'm just right clicking on each one while I'm holding down control and then you hold down control and press L and I'm, I'm doing the left control so obviously I didn't select the right thing because it selected all of them so um, well I'm breaking things Obviously, I'm still getting used to Blender. Um, anyways, press Escape to deselect if you don't want. Anyway, so let's try that again. And I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I'm just getting started with Blender, so if you've got better ways to do it, by all means, feel free to leave comments and how-tos. All right, so I hold down Control, press L. All right, so those are all the letters, and all I gotta do is just press Delete or X, and then click on vertices, and that will delete all of them. Okay, cool. So let's say we wanna add our own text. So we'll go back into object mode, just so it's a little more easy to see. Um, and then I'm just gonna left click over here, just so you can see what we're putting in. Um, so then on the left panel here, you click on the create button, you can scroll down to the bottom, and then there's a section right here called text, so you click on that, you can see right here my text has been added, so what I'm going to want to do is, uh, let's say that we want to name it whatever our text is, so I don't know, let's just name it Nintendo or something. So you press tab to start editing, and then backspace, and then just type in your thing. And it's backwards right now, but we'll fix that. And then once you're done typing in the text you want, all you got to do is press tab, and then that will take it back. So it's flat, and it's not really what the 3D blocks we want to see. So in order to do that, we'll first put it where it belongs. So we want to do a little bit of rotation. So you press R to start rotating, and then X to rotate it about the X-axis, and then press uh, type in 90, 
and then once you press 90 and press enter, it flips it up and you can see that it's now vertical. And these three arrows, the X, Y, and Z axis, or Z, whatever you want to call it, um, you can just left click on those and drag and it'll move it to wherever you want it to go. So, and But it's just along those axes. So it's backwards right now, so we're going to do a little bit more rotating to get it to where it is. Um, so R, Y, 90. No, that's not it. Escape. R, Z, 90. There we go. Press enter, and then it's upside down still, so we do one, one rotate about the X axis, 180 degrees, I think. R, X, 180. There we go. Press enter. So now we've got it the way we want it. And obviously, it's a little too small. So to make it bigger, all you got to do is press S. And then you can just drag it down to the left until it's the right size you want. And then just place it as best you can in the middle. And you can modify it. You can see that it's still a little bit before it. So you know, it'll take a little bit of messing around with to get that done. All right, so as we'll say that that's close enough for now. And still, it's really flat, and we don't necessarily want it to be flat. So uh, on the right side here, you can press the scroll wheel down, and it'll take you over to this F. That's your text text option. And scroll down here. So if you expand this just a little bit, you can see offset, extrude, um, and then a few other options. So in order to make it thicker, we'll do the extrude. So you can just press it a bunch, or you can just go to like, I don't know, I'll just press one just so you can see how it extrudes it. You probably wanted about 0.1 maybe. And it looks pretty good. So that way it'll stick out when you print it off on your 3D printer. So you can pull it back. You can see it goes right in. So anyways, that's a pretty simple way to change the text. And you can center it. And maybe you don't like the default font that they've got. So in order to change that, it's pretty simple. Um, so just right below this extrude option, there's this little folder option here, right here. It says load a new font from a file. So maybe I don't like that font. So I can click on that. And I've downloaded a font already. It's like an arcade pixelated type font. Um, so I will go into my downloads. So yeah, arcade or press start to. Press start to is actually pretty good. I like that one. It doesn't have any lowercase letters, but it's all right. So there you go. And you can see it changed my font already to that press start font so I can just make it a little smaller move it over to the left a bit and obviously there's more you can do with it than just this this is just a really simple way to change it if you want different text um, if you want more detailed stuff on blender I'm not sure how helpful I'll be on that I am still learning um, but yeah so maybe maybe you didn't want all this at all maybe you just want that symbol the blender or the retro I don't know, mushberry symbol. Um, and that one's in a bunch of different pieces. That's how I had to add them um, to get that depth because I could modify each piece individually rather than the thing as a whole. So you'll see, um, I'm just going to delete the text right now, but I mean, that should suffice right there. So if you want to sit right there, um, all you got to do is you just do file and then you can export and export it as an STL file. And then that's all you got to do. And that's the file you use to print with like a make a bot or whatever. I'm not sure what type of printers you got or have access to. I just use the one at my university. So anyways, uh, so if we're rescaling the RetroPie or the Mushberry symbol, I'm gonna do is just delete things maybe we don't want. Um, so we wanna go back into edit mode so we can just delete the pieces we don't want. So, okay, and we'll just do Control L, select that one piece Press delete or X, just choose the vertices option and it will delete everything. So let's say that I just want to change, and you can see that this is a, um, 
a mashup of someone else's work. So they had the Nintendo symbol on theirs, but I thought it'd be more fitting to have the RetroPie stuff. And I have that link in the uh, MakerBot site uh, showing which one I remixed it from. So if you like his version better, feel free to use that. Um, but yeah, so we'll do the same thing here with these. And you can just right click to get um, the pieces. So there's a few pieces on this one. You've got the raspberry dots, and then you've got the backdrop. Um, so you've got like the back part, um, and you've got leaves on the top, and then, sorry, if you're getting a headache from my poor navigation skills, um, and the face. the eyeball and then the white parts of the eyeball press control L to see which ones I've got so far right, sorry it's kind of tedious apologize for that control L and we'll just get the back part if we can to get the vertices on the back one. Let's see if we can get it though. Alright, there we go. Cool. So, we've got it all selected, and I'm sure there's a better way. Maybe you can hold down control and select. Um, anyways, but, so, now we can just press S to scale it. Sorry, my computer's kind of old so it's dying out and then just left click to save your scaling scale what's that it's a bit too big about there maybe there we go and then just go back to grab the blue arrow to take it down a bit all right so that's pretty good and then I'll just go back into object mode so there you go you can see it's a little better so if you only want that logo on there, then you can just have the Mushberry logo as well. And I think I'll save that and I'll put it on there as a secondary option for a lid if you want to use that one instead. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You can modify it however you want. You've probably got better skills on Blender than I do. I'm just getting started, so please be patient with that. <laughs> with that. But um, yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So hopefully that will be useful for you. Um, but thanks for watching.